I think the key uh, through this COVID stage and certainly when we were in, in lockdowns was communication and actually being able to communicate with staff because of course we had staff all over the place at home, some in offices in here, uh, very few for at one period of time, but certainly making sure we had them all involved and engaged was very important. So trying to keep those mechanisms going so we still met and spoke to people uh, was was crucial and of course then then the customers that we deal with and, and at CRES we deal with it on two sides, our, our major, we deal with BHP obviously as a as our major um, supply arm, supplying small business services to them, and of course all the, all the suppliers that actually come through our network. So just being in touch with all of those and communicating properly has been probably the biggest effort and biggest challenge that's occurred through all of this. Look, CRS has had a phenomenal year in 2020. Uh, you know, as much as as much as COVID has struck and, and hurt a lot of businesses. Uh, I think the local buy campaigns and, and buying small and BHP particularly trying to look at some of the, the um, local areas and supporting them has been very good for the throughput through our organisation. We, we had a budget for 2020 of about just over $100 million and we're probably going to come in around about $150 million. What we always say is this $150 million has gone back into small businesses that have been able to get interact with BHP and uh, that's that's really important in these times that we've had those opportunities and, and those businesses have had those opportunities. At the moment we're getting a number of businesses are getting to the stage where they're almost they're too big for our program. We, we only deal with businesses of up to 20 employees and, and if that's a good news story. They If BHP have been very much in favour of working with them, but they go on to contract or hopefully go on to contract and, um, and, and deal direct with BHP and can manage um, you know, contracts of that size. So, so <clears throat> that's good. We have graduates <laughs> coming out of our program and, and then we have others that can come in and fill that void. So uh, that's been a great story. I suppose our, our sister entity uh, coming out of CRES is the Local Buy Foundation and, and this program itself is funded, I think, by the Local Buy Foundation and it had a, a really great initiative <clears throat> probably when the start of the COVID hit to look at the industry bodies and to see what support they needed and to throw some money out at them, <coughs> which was done very quickly and very promptly and, and um, you know, has got a program like this running and, uh, and, and many others as well for different industry groups that have actually been able to help their members. And that's been, I think, a very important initiative and I think very positive for those organisations to deal with their members. I think this is a real time to reflect on leadership, not, not just locally, but I, I guess nationally and, and worldwide. The NRL boss has been amazing the way he has got the, that football competition back going. And, and you go back through the simple principles of what, what he's done. It was set a target early, so we're going to aim for this date and we're going to do everything we possibly can to get to that date. And they did and they achieved it. Being able to adapt is a key message and I think he's shown that in spades. I'll give credit to our politicians. Initiative to change to a national cabinet and do that with a flick of a switch and everybody agreeing has been quite phenomenal. Again with my health hat on, Jeanette Young in Queensland has been phenomenal with a clear message, clear direction about what, what she sees is happening. Again, she's a health worker, she's not an economist, and, and her, her role is to manage the health of Queenslander, so she's been very clear and very precise. So communication coming out of those channels is very important. A clear path is probably the answer to um, what describes leadership to me. Look, I, I think the business community has adapted very well, but generally I think most of our supply businesses to the mines um, have adapted and been able to keep running on. I think Mackay businesses are generally fairly adaptable and, um, and fairly flexible in how they operate, and I think that's the key message going forward. you just got to not go into work every day expecting it's going to be the same as the day before.